Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy loop of selected area of items in Reaper. Now, when using this technique, it's going to work in many different contexts. In other words, it has many uses. But one of the most common uses is for working with loops. So I'm going to first show you how to use it for drum loops. I have an audio file in front of me with a bunch of different drum loops. Let's hear them. So I'm going to pick one drum loop and I want to use it throughout the entire song. Let's choose this one right here. Now it's a two bar loop, but let's say we just wanted to use the first bar. So we want to select it and copy it and paste it to the beginning of the song. So you'd probably do it like this. Just zoom in, create a time selection. Let's zoom out, move it over to choose the end. Let's get it nice and close. And by turning on, looping down here, we can hear how tight the loop is. So let's say that's the loop we want to use. So we could just copy it. Let's right click. Go down here to copy selected area of items. Then we'll go to the beginning of the song, let's go to bar three and paste it right there. So now we have our loop right on bar three. But now we want to extend it throughout the whole song. And if we go over here to trim it, it's not going to loop. It's going to trim out to the rest of the loop we had. It's not going to loop based on what we selected. So a better way to do it is to use this command. Let's go back to a selected section and right click. And instead of choosing copy selected area of items, we'll choose the next option, copy loop of selected area of items. We could also choose it from the menu over here under item, copy loop of selected area of items. Both options are the same. So let's copy it. Now let's go to the beginning of the song and let's see the difference. Go to bar three, now we paste it. Now it looks the same. But the difference is now we can trim it out and it's going to create a perfect loop right there. That's a loop point. And this one. So now we can drag it out to the entire song. So by choosing that option, copy loop of selected area of items, it defines the area we want to loop. So when we drag it out, it's going to loop perfectly. So as you can see, it's great for drum loops or any kind of loop, but it also works well for sound effects. I have some sound effects on this track. So right over here, is some crowd noise. But it doesn't play for very long. So if we want to use this throughout the entire song or throughout a scene in a video, we could also use this technique. So let's do this first. Let's select the whole area and use that first option, copy selected area of items. And let's put this under our drums. And again, it's not going to loop because we didn't use the other action, but now we could define a loop. Let's bring this over to here. And let's say we wanted a loop just this section right here, because over here is a bit of noise. I don't really want to loop that because we'll hear it in the loop. I just want to loop this section from here to here. And we don't want to loop the beginning because it fades in. We don't want to hear that repeat. So what we can do, place our cursor here, create a time selection from here to here, 
Go to that option by right-clicking, copy loop of selected area of items, and then we could paste that right here. We could delete the end, and now we could loop just that section we defined. Go here and trim it out, and it's a perfect loop. So it's pretty seamless for creating loops out of effects. But most of the times, we're gonna use it on loops. And one other thing I should show you, although it's not related to this action, is that we could time stretch it to match the tempo. So turn snapping back on, hold on Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, and drag this over, and that stretches it or condenses it to our tempo. So now we could still trim it out, and it's still gonna loop perfectly. So that's in tempo with our song. So those are the most common techniques for using copy loop of selected area of items in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.